So I've got my new avionics, got the IFD 550 installed by Absolute Aviation. Thank you for that, they did an amazing job. You guys need to check them out. And so now I have the fun, I'd say fun, job of actually making sure everything works. So I did a short flight, which you may have seen, from X-50 to St. Augustine. Now today, we're gonna take up the Baron and we're gonna let the autopilot fly the approach, make sure everything's working. So come along. So welcome aboard. Here with uh, Bob. You may have seen him in my last video. Uh, when we uh, picked up the airplane from New Smyrna from uh, Absolute Aviation, which Absolute Aviation did an absolute fantastic job on my install. So now we uh, have a little bit of time. We're going to uh, go ahead and take the airplane up, let the uh, test the autopilot. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fly out, go fly an approach or two, make sure the autopilot's capturing everything and making sure we're all good. So. Got my database is all updated, everything's all syncing and talking and working exactly how it should. So and now it's uh, the one last test, which is the autopilot test. So we'll go out, we're going to uh, fly to or Orsuf, shoot the RNAV 013, all via the autopilot, and then we'll, uh, we'll go mist, and then we'll probably go back around, do it one more time, and then come to land. Bearing 3175, Whiskey, uh, turn right, heading 270, maintain 2000, runway 13, Bravo 1, clear for takeoff, traffic left, face to Cessna. Right, 270, clear for takeoff on 13, uh, 3175. All right. Cessna 7, Romeo, Whiskey, turn right, the Baron. Clear left. They're actually, I think they're going to change our... November 4, our flight three, path. Three, three, our You're flight about, path. Uh, 14 miles south of the airport now. November 3, don't steer. Thank you. Report midfield right down when runway 13. All right, see you at 13. Okay, everything lines up. All right, gauges in the green. Fuel flow. Airspeed alive. Eighty-four knots. Or positive rate, I see him. Gear up. Feel the air coming? Yeah. That's good. All right, 400 feet. There's a plane right there. Let him get a little bit past. Watch one one, San Augustine. Tire, you want the straight end to one three or the way in? Watch it one one, uh, proceed inbound at or above 1,500. Report left break uh, for right. only one three. Turning right two seven zero. Bring the power back to 25 inches. Fly at there seven seven one. Right mid field runway one three. We can touch and go. Five zero seven seven one. Continue on the down one. I'll call your base turn. Uh, there's, there's, there's one, continue on the downwind, waiting for your call for the base turn. Cessna 7, Romeo, Whiskey, make right to close pattern this time around. Okay, RPM is back. Traffic, 7, uh, 7, Romeo, Whiskey. 2500. November 433, Delta here. what is your altitude now? Altitude is... There's a fire over there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, Bearing 75, Whiskey, contact Jazz departure. Go to Partridge Day, Sunless. When are you going to engage the autopilot? Hold on one second. Departure Baron 3175, Whiskey 1.5, climbing 2000. 3175, Whiskey Jack, departure, I dent. I dent, Sunless. Number 55 Delta, thank you for the contact, 2 North, 
But now I have an ident button on here. Change to my light bloody one two four point nine. All right, there's two thousand feet. We're gonna bring the power way back. Under number four five Bravo, turn right, hitting zero three zero. I'll level off here at two thousand. Bravo fifty one fifteen, can I Jacksonville Center one two six point three five? Good day. RPMs back to 2400. Number 75 Whiskey's ready to contact. Uh, about three southwest of St. Augustine, say intentions. I'd like to shoot uh, two practice uh, approaches to RNAV uh, 1 3. Number 75 Whiskey, clear direct E for initial approach fix for the RNAV 1 3, maintain 2000. Clear direct E for RNAV 1 3. Alright, so let's go. Flyer 707, go here, go RNAV 1 and, 3, uh, enter. Southbound altitude indicates he changes 1, to E for Enter. Place approach, enter. So there it is. Now we're going to go direct to EFRO, which is a 310. I'll put this on localizer, that on 310. So now we're going direct to EFRO. So I'm going to put this on map page, okay. which will then so show. Four, four, five, Bravo, to set to maintain 2000. I'm going to go ahead and put this one here just to follow along. On the map as well. Flyers are 707. Traffic ahead to your left in about a half a mile. Should so now in theory, the this is set for a localizer. Okay. So all I should have to do is okay. now, as we fly to the approaches, change what we're navigating to. So it's on autopilot right now? Yep. So I'm going to bring my speed to approach. Number 55 five Delta Jack, you're back with me on 249. 18. You can see we are currently 7.4 nautical miles from EFRO, which is the first fix. I think you were saying you're waiting for Kilo to change over to the next one, right? Is that what you're saying? Gotcha. Number 55 Delta, turn left, heading 320. So is this controlling it? The autopilot? So the, no, so this is controlling my HSI. Okay. Number 75 Whiskey after the approach, flooding 360, climb and maintain 2000, return to this frequency. 360 up to 2000, back on this frequency, 317 miles. 20 traffic 10 o'clock, 4 miles northwest bound, altitude indicate 6400. Right. So that's my missed approach instructions. So once we go miss, we'll climb to 2000 and turn to 360 and come back to him on this frequency. Okay. Number 75 Whiskey, 4 miles from referral, cross referral at 2000, third RNAV 13 St. Augustine. Cross your 2000, clear to RNAV 13 for San Augustine for 3175 Whiskey. Alright, we're already at 2000. So you can see the countdown, we're three miles from your furrow. So the autopilot just controls your heading, it doesn't control the speed or anything like that? No, I control all that with the power. So it's just the heading? Correct. Then hopefully if this does it right, it'll actually make us descend, which is the big thing I'm testing right now. Number 3175 Whiskey, contact St. Augustine Tower 127.62, we'll talk to you on the go. Over the tower, good day, Sound Post. Sound Sea Tower, Baron 3175, Whiskey on the RNAV 13. Theory. About descending, and that's what that noise was, telling us the iron descent in 20 seconds, but I cleared it out. There's the half dot deflection, we're in gear speed. I'll go ahead and lower our gear. We have three green. Now what should happen now, what I want to see is if this actually intercepts it and takes us down. There it goes. Wow. Pretty and cool. Down we're going. So how far down is it going to let us go? Uh, well, we're going to... Get to that waypoint? Yeah, we're actually going to call them when we're three miles out. Let them know when we're three miles. He'll probably tell us to go missed. Go missed? Yeah, meaning we're going to... Oh, you're right. Around. Oh. So, I'm bringing the power back because we're faster than I would want to be normally if we we're actually we're doing the approach. I'm bringing this back down to 16.
We're on a five mile final. You can see we're five miles away. Where's your speed? That's wrong with this gear. About to turn final now. Clear to touch and go. They'll be up there in about two miles of trail. Clear to touch and go. Okay, here's our speed. November 75, Whiskey, your number two following is Cessna. He's two miles ahead of you on final. He'll be a touch and go. Runway 1 3, clear for the option. Number two, clear for the option. 1 3, send by Whiskey. Taking us right down. Yeah, right there, it's lit up, showing glide slope. Okay. Go down to 500, and then we'll just go miss the 500. Back here, too. Uh, somewhere. GPS altitude is a little bit different than actual altitude. But yeah. You're going by that? Yep. Okay. Alright, we're going to miss. And Tower Baron 3175 Whiskey is on the miss. Baron 75 Whiskey Roger and what climb are you on? 360 and 2? Affirm 360 and 2, Sembles. Baron 75 Whiskey X, can you climb up? Contact departure. For departure today, Sembles. So this time around, they're going to give us... 707, traffic 1 o'clock in a mile, maneuvering, turning south, southeast, phone indicating 1,000. Orso. We're going to do Orso this time? Yep. That one's a little closer? It's just on this side. Oh, on this side? Because we're coming the... from this side of the airport now. I got you. Alright, so I'm going to put How it on. How far away is it? How oh, did you move it up? Yeah, I'm going to go. So, you can go back here to uh, go to map, see the chart. This time I'm going to flop this just to give everyone a different view. Mm -hmm. Put the synthetic vision up there. I'll put my charts here. You're a little off? Yeah, so here's my chart, and here yeah. I'll put the synthetic vision there. Giant 6326 Heavy, turn left heading 215. Governor 75 Whiskey, turn left heading 300. Left 300, Sam Polsky. The Cessna slank off, Cessna 172, 11 one November. Cessna 11 one November, squawk 0451, 330. Governor 55 Delta, turn right heading 050. Right, 6326 heavy, turn 10 degrees right. Uh, Costi is a 75 with okay. turn left heading 220. Left 220, San Francisco. Allen 33, turn right heading 130. Um, Costi airspace is uh, airport. Right, 6326 heavy, turn airport. Costi airport. Uh, uh, is it one airspace, I guess? Yeah. Number no, 55 five Delta, the set of maintain 2000. So instead of us flying the full thing, he's other. giving us radar vectors for it all. Go ahead. So our next thing is going to be a 130. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on for my navigation on 130. 436, do a one turn and hold as normally to set a maintain 3000. Then at uh, 75 Whiskey, turn left heading 160, join the final approach course, advise established. Left 160 will advise, that was. 96326 heavy to set a maintain 2000, turn right heading 230. On 33, clear direct Ormond Beach View Arc on a Jacksonville Center 126.35. Good day. Number 55 Delta, turn right hitting 090. Now, I'm curious to see how the autopilot handles The other this. one that checked in, I'm sorry I missed you. The Street 5329 Jacks approach, thank you. Altimeter 3008 down at Gainesville to set a maintain 5000. He's blowing us through it. The autopilot's slow. Sam Fabuski's established. 
Don't worry, sound five with you, three miles from the final approach section, third R Navarro 13 three approach, contact the Dallas Team Tower, have a great day, sir. But you are now with the over to the tower, towers, I'm also. So this may not capture this time. Then on the towers, that's my seven five seven Romeo Whiskey, midfield, left downwind, request to go I'll explain why in a second. Seven Romeo Whiskey, runway one three, clear touch go. Clear touch go, seven five seven Romeo Whiskey. San Jose Tower, Baron 3175, Whiskey on the R913. Baron 3175, Whiskey, San Jose Tower, continue the approach, report a four mile final. Four mile, report a four mile final, I suppose. San Jose Tower, guard 20301. Oh, the autopilot's struggling a little bit, it's keeping us to the right. Best song, what's the flight say again? Guard 20301 and flight. All right, slip intercept, you're going down. Guard 20301 and flight, San Jose Tower. Flight of two UH 67 miles to the west. Inbound for landing. You can see here, puts all the ILS information right up on there. Scar 20301, roger. Uh, just continue southbound to the water tower. And there it goes, and then, just uh, nosed over. Straight into runway six for me, now please. Now going to fly that down. The uh, wind is Now let's see if the autopilot can actually get us back on course. Continue southbound to the water tower. 3009, thank you. Baron 75, whiskey number two, phone assessed down a one mile base, runway 13, clear to land. Number two, clear land, I suppose. All right. Looks like it's slowly moving us. Are you moving us over? No, no. It it's all a pilot. Doing it. So it looks like it's moving yeah. us a little bit. Yeah. It's struggling a little bit. November 7, Quebec Zulu, just continue inbound. I am receiving your mode C indicates 1,900 currently. Yeah, it just came back and it's definitely intermittent. We don't get it, uh, but rarely, when, except when you recycle. So that was interesting you'll need to get because that it gave data. me that late. Turn. The autopilot's struggling to get back, back on course. It's almost there. Yeah, but I'm, I'm basically on the verge of full deflection. If this was actual IFR instrument conditions, uh, I'd be going around right now because I got a full scale deflection. Okay. That's not because of this, that's because my autopilot's old and, old and tired. All right, three green. It's starting to get back, looks like. Pretty close. It's trying. I think what's not helping is I believe the wind's off the left, too. I was pushing it back a little bit. All right, so it's giving a little more resistance, and it's off. But struggling more. Car 20301 and flight, there is traffic two miles southeast of your position at Cessna, descending out of 1,800. Uh, he's straight into runway six. Report that traffic inside if you see him, please. 20301 flight, searching. November 7, uh, Quebec Zulu, expect that brings us back over. Yeah, 7 Quebec Zulu, expect the straight into runway six. All right, I'm going to turn off the autopilot. Struggling here. Tower 20301, flight has traffic inside. Go copter 20301 and flight, follow that Cessna, number two for runway six. 20301, following Cessna, number two. All right. Hey, no, you're seeing tower. Double On four flaps. Three Delta Sierra at one three Bravo one, ready for takeoff. November 423 Delta Sierra, Saint Augustine. 500. Short, 500 feet. One, three, three green. Bravo one. Little landing line. traffic. Holding short. Four three three Delta Sierra. Cessna 7, Quebec Zulu, runway 1, uh, correction, runway 6, clear to land, wind 090 zero, zero, at 10. Zero. Runway 6, clear to land, 7, Quebec Zulu. Guard copter 20301 in flight, runway 6, clear to land, number 2 behind the Cessna. 20301 in flight, clear to land, number 2, 306 behind Cessna. Five seven Romeo Whiskey extend that left downwind. I will call base. Extend left downwind. You'll call base. Seven five seven Romeo Whiskey. All 
Thought he was gonna go there, but I'll go ahead and go down to Bravo 4. Take you down further. Yeah, well, it's a runway. You can't turn. Intercept turn. Five oh, okay. Whiskey, turn right at Bravo 4, contact ground point 17. Bravo 4 over the ground, Seth Whiskey. No, I think ground bearing 3175, Whiskey clear 13 at Bravo, Bravo 4 for Atlantic. 3175, Whiskey, Sonstein, ground taxi uh, via the right turn there on uh, Bravo and hold short of runway 2 for now. Right on Bravo, hold short of 2 for Seth Whiskey. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, the autopilot, um, it's an old, tired autopilot, did a great job flying uh, the approach when uh, it was on on its game and we were following everything. When the uh, tower gave us um, headings and vectors and kind of turned us late into it, it, it struggled keeping up and, and uh, keeping us on track. So uh, that's just a case of it being an old, tired autopilot. But these are the kind of things when you're flying with an autopilot that you really should check out and get to know because uh, you don't want to find that out you know, the hard way when you are flying IMC and weather and you're dependent on your autopilot. Hope you guys like all the new goodies in here. As you can see, I haven't even talked about the elephant in the room, Bose headset. Uh, the guys at Bose uh, caught wind that I was a lightweight kind of guy. So Number 75, wish you can turn left on 2-0 and then take the first ride into the ramp. Left on 2-0, first right into the ramp, Seth Bobosky. So look at those helicopters. I know. So they found out I'm a lightweight headset kind of guy. Um, so they sent me these uh, these new Bose uh, ProFlight to go ahead and test and try to uh, to see what I like, see what I think, and uh, give them evaluation. So what do you think? Do they look like me? Do you think it's a good fit? They actually worked really well. Uh, they weren't sure how well they were going to work um, because they weren't really designed for these type of airplanes. But uh, you couldn't really hear, but they sounded great. They're light, they're comfortable. I think I like them. It's nice being back in, in the lightweight. So you got the A20s on. Comfortable. How'd they sound? They felt good? They sound great. Excellent. So, anyhow, as always, if you guys uh, like my videos, give me that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. The biggest thank you I can get is always your subscription to my channel. Be sure to follow me on Instagram on Beach Baron Pilot and on Facebook on Baron Pilot page. And a special shout out and thank you to my patron supporters. Your support that helps make videos like these possible. So, anyhow, so that was a short flight, a little different than normal. Thank you, Bob, for, for coming uh, with me. I know uh, you've been sweating it out in here because it's a little hot. Sorry about Glad that. Glad to be invited. So, Glad to be here. We got to do a little more of this. You're supposed to fly out to St. Simon's Island for lunch. That kind of got axed yesterday, yeah, but weather. Um, maybe that'll be a future video for you guys. So. Bravo one, Bravo All right, two, well, I got Bravo my little, my own little parking spot here in uh, at Atlantic. Gonna just kind of make it a little easier for them. But anyhow, thanks for coming along, guys, and uh, stay safe. And I will uh, see you on the next one.